change elements that comprise human flourishing change, which are a subject to the dynamic social history as written by humans. People found means to live more comfortably, explore more places, develop more products, and make more money, and then repeating the process in full circle. Our concept of human flourishing today proves to be different from what Aristotle originally per perceived then. Humans of today are expected to become a man of the world. He is supposed to situate himself in a global neighborhood. Working side by side among institutions and the government to be able to reach a common goal. Competition as a means of survival has become. Uh, coordination is a new trend. The earliest criterion that distinguishes philosophy and science is verification theory. The idea processes that a discipline is science. It can be confirmed. It can be interpreted in the event or of an alternative hypothesis being accepted. While falsification theory asserts that as long as an ideology is not proven to be false and can be explained a phenomenon over alternative theories. We should ac accept that said ideology. Due, due to its hospitable character, the shift to this theory allowed emergence of theories otherwise rejected by verification theory. Bring the lives of the people before and now will make anyone realize the changes that happen in society, not just in terms of culture or language or rights, but more important changes in people's way of life due to the existence of science and technology. The term generation gap attributed meaningly to the changes of brought about by, th by technology, although the original ideas is for technology to help everyone it cannot be denied that until today not everyone is comfortable in using the different kinds of technologies especially those who belong to the elder generation think what these technologies are too complicated to operate and they have been used to a simple living in the past and these available technological devices though very appealing are a difficult puzzles to them through science and technology, people get to experience what it really means to live because it helps people in more ways than one. People who live in the past and people who are living in the present are have different views of what it means to flourish, primarily due to the kind of environment and the period one is in. People's way of life and how the society works also affects how one construes the concept of human flourishing. The environment needs to be assessed in order to know the possibility of human flourishing and to what extent it is possible. The human condition in before, in before common era, our early ancestors primal need to survive or pave way for the inventions of several developments. They are, gift, they are gifted, more advanced than other cultures. Humans are able to utilize abundant materials for their own comfort, as it is difficult pinpoint to the particular period where technology is said to have started. One can say that the very least, the motivation that makes things easier has been around since humans are. Humanity has indeed come a, a long way from our native ways. And as a general rule, it is said that we are more developed than we were before. Modern humans are reliant on technology. They're searching for the good life. We see ways and means from nature utilize and achieve growth, a goal that we believe we could bring forth betterment. In moral theory, due to the technology lesser women and children die bef during birth, assuring a robust population and strong workforce. In medical care for premature infants allow them to survive and developing normally while proper maternal care ensures that mothers can fully recover and remain empowered. 
average lifespan aside from the reason that people engage less in combat and less likely to die in treatable diseases now as opposed to then science is able to prolong lives by enhancing living status and discovering different remedies to most diseases the distribution of medicines is also made easier and faster. In literacy rate, access to education provided to more individuals generally creates a more informed public that could be determined a more just society. In gross domestic product, although not all indicator of the average person's lifestyle in a certain country, is it often used to determine the values of the country's goods and services produced within the territory given a certain time period. Highly, higher country income is brought upon by higher productivity, often an indicator of presence of technology.